Hey guys, it's Caitlin from Katie Cat's Charms, and today I have a huge craft and resin update for you guys. Um, some of these aren't finished yet, so um, just be aware, but most of these are on my Etsy shop, and I hope you guys enjoy. So, let's get started. So, the first thing I have, you guys have probably seen this on my Instagram if you follow me, is this fairy tale uh, deco den phone case that I made. I made this out of the um, white, the brilliant white silicone. And I made, um, or I found the castle charm actually at my Hobby Lobby. It came in a, in a set with other um, like buttons. So this is actually a button, but yeah, I bought every single one they had. <laughs> and like some of these pieces here, I made all by myself. These were um, made out of resin, and I just added some stars and some micro marbles. And I, I kind of made some like tiny mistakes. But I still think it turned out really cute. I'm still practicing, so um, I'll get better with time, hopefully. <laughs> and then I have some like keychains and stuff like that. So the first item I have is this really cute Barbie keychain. It's got some pastel star beads. And I just put it on a key ring. The other piece I have is a dust plug, like for your phone. And it's a brighter pink, and it's got some other star beads. Really cute. Those are on my Etsy shop. I also have this Barbie necklace that I made. It's on a, um, a black chain. This is on my Etsy shop as well. Really cute, really simple. I like it. Okay, moving on. I've got two polymer clay items. I've got these two adorable little bats. Look how cute! Um, this is the first one I made. It's kind of dirty. Um, I was just practicing with some leftover clay. So then I made this one with some better clay. And that's what he looks like. And he's just adorable. And those are on my Etsy shop too. Okay, moving on to some resin items. These things I made with just leftover resin that I had from some charms I was making. So I've got this little bow here really simple. I've got this bow, and I've got this little star charm. I'll probably turn these into rings or necklaces, something cute. And I've got these resin charms that I made. These are, by any means, these are not finished at all, but I just thought I would show you because they're so cute. Little Rilakkuma. I used a different glitter technique this time, and I really like how it turned out. Okay, here's this one. So shiny! <laughs> and then there's this one. I think these two. I'm going to turn into rings or something because they're small enough and I really like how they turned out too. So these have not, um, these are not in my Etsy shop yet, but they will be soon because I'm going to be working on them today. So I've got these two Rilakkuma charms. I embedded some pearls in there and I just think it's, it's really cute. Oh, focus! Focus! Okay, there we go. Really cute, and here's the back. So sparkly. And I have this little Rilakkuma charm. And this one I added tinsel glitter all throughout. So that's what you're seeing in the back. And this one is don't. Okay, moving on, I've got some really adorable gummy bears to show you guys. So this one is purple. I still need to fix the backs, they're not perfect yet, but I have domed them, I just need to sand down some of these edges and stuff. So I've got purple, I've got this really cute pink one, I have this one, this is um, pink tinsel glitter, really sparkly, and then I have this really really cute blue one. 
This is probably my most favorite piece I've made yet. <laughs> um, it's this one you guys have probably seen it on my Instagram a bajillion times, but I just can't get enough of it. Um, I made this with, of course, resin, but it's got some pastel beads, confetti glitter, glitter flakes, pearlex powder. There's so much glitter in there, it's ridiculous. Here's what it looks like. I still need to trim the edges and stuff like that and sand it down, so... And here's the back. It's got some subtle stars and glitter in there. I still need to give it a second coat of glaze, but it is just about done. And this one, if it's not listed on my Etsy shop already, it will be listed very soon. So, yeah, I'll probably turn this into a necklace because it's too big for like a keychain or anything like that. So, yeah, we'll see. This is, um, that is on my Etsy shop as well. You can customize it however you want. You can have it say, you know, kawaii or cute or whatever you want. I can make it into just about anything, any words you want. Okay, guys, that is my update. I know it was kind of a lot. <laughs> I've just been really loving resin again lately. I took a break for a while and now I'm sort of really getting back into it and I'm really enjoying it a lot better now. And I hope you guys enjoy them too. I think they're like, they look really, really adorable. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this, um, <laughs> craft update. I hope it inspired you to make your own resin pieces and experiment with different things. So I hope you guys have a super awesome magical day and I'll see you next time. Bye.